Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video, we got 979 back in the shoot and she is the cow from the Cow's Hoof Blows Bubbles video with over 21 million views. And then we're gonna put 7287 back in the shoot as well. She was featured in this video right here. So first up is 979. Let's get that foot up and take a look. In that original video, this was the problem area right here. Let's go back and take a look at that video quickly once again. We had a white line lesion right about here, and you can see as that pressure is released, we had that bubble form. We had to remove some of the loose horn from around that area to get all of the fluid underneath away from there. And as we did that, as we removed that loose horn, we found a small stone lodged in that white line. We got that out of there continued to trim that area out. We put a block on the other claw to elevate that injured claw off the ground. We gave her a salicylic acid wrap and we sent her on her way. Today, now we've got that foot back. Let's get it cleaned up a little bit so we can see what we've got. So as we're looking at this foot right now, we're about eight weeks out, a little over eight weeks actually from that initial trim time. And Typically, I'm going to do a recheck on a cow on that very next visit, which is four to five weeks per, for this particular farm. However, I did not send him the uh, recheck list in time, and this cow did not get sorted off for that four-week check. So that's why we're at this eight-week mark now. We can see that this white line has completely healed in, and we've got good new horn produced in that entire area. At the time, there was some soft tissue there that I left. I did not want to cut that away. And you can see, even though I left that, this heals up perfectly fine. We don't want to remove that tissue if we don't have to. So we didn't. Now you can see, it get a real up-close shot of this. That entire area is completely filled back in. The cracking is gone. We've got good, solid horn production all the way throughout that white line. So we don't have to worry about this uh, going back and and. Uh, re-aggravating. This little area right here is just an imperfection in the sole. I don't want to remove that. If I do, the rest of that sole is going to be thin. So that's just something we got to live with and it's not going to, not going to cause the cow any problems. So that's it. She's good to go. We're going to put that foot down and get her back. A lot of you worried about this cow thought maybe she was going to enter the food, sh food supply chain in a different way, but nope. We got her all healed up and she's ready to go. Now let's get 7287 in the shoot and see how she healed. So just to give you a little recap of this foot, she had a white line lesion in her right rear foot and that medial claw. And to go along with that, she had some dermatitis that was affecting that heel bulb area. Now this is one of the foot feet that several of the viewers on there thought was one of the worst ones they'd ever seen. But for the most part, this foot was really healed. All we had to do was really take care of that dermatitis. We put a block on that claw, cleaned up that dermatitis, those couple lesions that were lingering there. We uh, treated it with salicylic acid as well to kill that dermatitis. And now we're back to see how this foot healed. So here we are 42 days later. When we first saw her, she was in the heifer barn. She has since moved to the milking parlor and that's where we're checking on her now. I'm just gonna touch up this white line just to make sure there's nothing going on there. And then we'll get a good close up of this and see how it's healed. So as we swing in, you can see both of those dermatitis lesions are completely cleared up now. The whole heel bulb is healed back in and the white line is sound as well. We've got good sole thickness. We don't have to obviously don't have to worry about her bearing weight on that as she already was. If we go back, this is what it looked like when we left her 42 days ago. And this is what it looks like now. All healed up, ready to go. Let's get this foot down and send her back. We got two happy ladies and one happy hoof trimmer right here. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.